Hi, this is Tim Fraser from Forces. I'm here to give you a quick introduction to the Rise Storefront. It is an integrated e-commerce platform uh, with the Aptus CPQ engine from Conga. So I've got two different tabs. Follow my um, illustration here. This first tab that says Rise, this is uh, you know lightly branded. We you know you can put your banners and, and all that. Just get some orientation. This looks like a standard shopping cart. It's, it looks like a standard login. You can have a user experience which is anonymous, or you can have a user experience for your, for your channel partners as well. But in this in this example, uh, since location in the precast industry is very specific. Uh, to how you price and how you deliver your products, it is uh, because of the weight and the load and the and the geographic uh, context of uh, delivery. Um, a lot of the inventory is controlled by the local distribution points. So in this particular case, uh, the user experience requires that you pick your region in, in terms of where you want to ship and where you want to buy from and, and shop. A lot of the uh, um, you know cities, for example, that are looking to buy uh, equipment, uh, if you if it's a if it's a uh, um, if it's a uh, business or if it is a government institution, they know where they're buying from typically. They know the regions and they have the standard um, standard specifications for that region uh, that is important, so they buy specifically from local factories. So that's the uh, one of the key reasons why location is an important attribute uh, going into the shopping experience. Uh, we can also configure this where it is a shopping experience and then location where the products are uh, can also be uh, built uh, as part of the, the navigation, but in this particular case for precast, it is the opposite where location is the top level uh, choice of uh, shopping. Now, on the left hand bar, these are the categories and products that, that are for sale. This is obviously a quick demo, and so they, we have very few things in here. But you have the typical shopping experience with the, with the, with the scrollable list of all the featured products that are, for, uh, that are available. Uh, if you just scroll down, these are not fully configured. Uh, this is just an illustration of other barriers uh, and other uh, products in the barrier category that can be done. And it's, a, it's got the standard layout. Uh, this has got the vertical layout on the left hand side. The next branded um, a product with the same store database underneath it is the next one I'm going to tab to. This particular one just starts out with, um, you know, with a um, barrier, highway barriers as an example, where you focus on that particular one. Um, let me actually uh, go back. So this is, so this was, this does not have all the tabs, and and this is a, you know, a little bit lighter weight implementation um, for the uh, for the user experience. Now. Looking at these two, uh, at these two user experiences, I'm just going to focus on this one. Um, this is going to give you the ability to navigate to what you're looking for. You can do, you know, obviously pick your location, go pick California. Uh, you can search for products. I'm going to actually check. I'm going to start with barriers like we have here, traffic barriers, um, and then as the as the page loads. Out of the box, this is the experience. This this looks like a standard shopping cart experience, but in, in reality, based on who you are, if I had logged in as a channel partner or distributor, I would be getting my negotiated price for this product, and it also tells me for this region that I am that I did a search for. Um, this is what I am uh, that, that I selected on the previous page. This is the availability lead time in that area. So this is an out of the box experience. It does not. Um, uh, it, it, the complexity under the covers to understand the uh, understand inventory and find the products uh, is an interface that goes out to the to the uh, uh, regional uh, context to be able to find your lead times based on um, you know obviously what you're buying and how many you buy. Now this this example uh, we can show a couple more uh, kind of cool things if you look at the specifications. So here we are, the 3D viewer uh, has launched. In this particular case, it's a 2D rendering of a 3D image. Um, and uh, this is a small example where you can, you can navigate your, your, uh, uh, your image and uh, you can use measures and, and do markups, et cetera. You can, you can fit the screen, you can print this. This is a 2D rendered model, but the, uh, the, uh, the integration that we, are, that we are also offering includes a 3D rendered image. So if, it, if you're just in viewer mode, you can see that the end user can see a pre-configured product. If you want to make any changes to this, you move from a shopping experience, which is a, which is a uh, uh, build to order, uh, make to order, uh, to a configure to order, so you can actually see, for example, you may want to move these holes. These holes may have may have an option to move up and down uh, depending on the, the way the barriers are or the various snap points. May have different different types of materials or different configuration. All that can be done through a navigation using a 3D render. 
Now I'm going to illustrate a uh, barrier configuration that has been done in a 3D rendering tool uh, that allows you to be able to fully manipulate the 3D object, <clears throat> which includes all the configuration options. And by the way, when I say configuration, that is a shopping cart experience uh, terminology, but those are actually engineering options as well. So as you look here, you've, we've added a hole for, for lifting hold. Uh, we've also got um, a change of the, of the dimensions. You can go three feet, uh, three meters or six meters in terms of length. And this is all done through the uh, 3D tool that allows you to do full-on rendering uh, in, 3D, in a 3D modeling tool with layers. Uh, you can also see the wireframe diagram, which you see here, which allows you to be able to fully uh, look at this model. Now, as you change this configuration, all those configuration choices can end up ending, ending up into the CPQ options in terms of an attributes on that uh, shopping cart experience. That will drive a behavior uh, with, that allows you to be able to configure this visually and have a full-on shopping experience with a fully rendered product. And this could be a configured to order product. So if it's not a custom configuration, this is the best uh, way to illustrate this. So specifications allows you to do that. Now, like I said, you can start with the shopping cart experience, or you can you can you can you can switch it out to um, having a full-on experience between a 3D integration and modifying the model, and then shipping it off for further engineering and engineering review. And that is the um, this that is a precast industry first to allow you to have a two-way interface between a shopping cart experience to semi configuration, semi custom to a full-on uh, engineering to order experience. So let's just uh, add this to the cart and we can um, have a quick uh, illustration of what happens. Let's just say I pick two of these barriers and I uh, pick, uh, pick both of those. This is a very common shopping cart experience here. Um, the layout uh, can obviously be controlled in what this UI looks like. Uh, at the end of the day, we have added two items to the cart. You can see the items are in the cart. Uh, you can view the cart. This looks like a standard shopping cart experience, right? So as you look at the shopping cart experience, you have your configured prices. If you actually go through the checkout process, this is where the, the underlying magic occurs. This is, a, this is not a normal flow in a checking and a shopping cart experience because your, sh your shipment has to be also be shipped to you because in the, in the uh, precast industry, uh, the product is uh, ship to install, right? So the trucks will deliver literally on site for, for installation. So it is literally, literally built to install. Uh, so in this particular case, it looks like we'll be needing a boom truck and uh, a wide load truck for, uh, and, a, and a, maybe a pilot car. This is just a sample of what we would be building for the total cost for the shipping cost in, is now included. And uh, as, as we go into this process, where, where if you have a standard product and you're just out of the shelf buying it, then this is pretty cool. Um, we have a version of this that allows you to punch out at this place. We may have a, a discussion between, uh, between the sales um, uh, team that supports your client at this, at, this, at this point in the shopping cart experience. They may go back to a, uh, may, may actually want to do an interaction on price or discussion, and that would punch you out from, from this user experience into a, a guided experience from a, on the back end with the integration uh, with the shopping uh, with the salesperson that supports that particular customer or region. Okay. 